गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज एम एस पावर पॉइंट एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंसर्ट ऑप्शन इन यूज इन एम एस पावर पॉइंट इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी इंसर्ट पिक्चर चार्ट टेबल बट इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू इंसर्ट हैड एन फोटो how to add a video or audio in your powerpoint presentation so first of first of all let us insert a slide so we give the name of the slide is microsoft powerpoint select the color from here you can fill any background color for me okay if you want to change the color then just select the character text and you can also change the size and style to this content different fonts are there okay now let's uh, go to the insert option and then here first of all text box so just go to the text box text box is there you can increase the size by just, by just entering the enter by just pressing the enter button by just pressing the space uh, enter button here and you can write any text inside it after enter you can easily see that size will be increased according to that text and uh, you can change the size and font font size font style you can also rotate it uh, this text box also so these are the same these are the some features of text box okay you can increase the length and width of the text also so you can also increase the length and width of the text box and uh, now this is the simple page here so now i think you are able to insert the text box here okay so text box is used to enter the text in your microsoft powerpoint presentation let us take a new slide this is the default slide here you can write the heading from here and uh, subtitle in second box or points regarding to the heading related to the main topic in second box there are different options and if you want to insert uh, an insert a movie here then you can select from it here you can select you can see here i just select a movie from here by pressing the last option and then there is the option which uh, take your permission and the message is written here how do you want the movie to start in the slide show so when if we select when clicked option then as soon as we just click on that movie that click the that video will be open or that movie will be open so you can easily see that now just double click on that and then that click will be that uh, that clip or movie clip will be open here now you can easily see here that is 
the movie clip here. You can also increase the size of this movie also. If you just uh, click inside the box, movie will play and uh, if you just click outside the box, it will stop here. And you can also able to increase the decrease the size of this clip also. You can easily see here. So just click inside the box and that movie clip will open. Now you can easily see here. Okay. So just click inside the box and the movie will be open, movie will play according to that and uh, if you just click outside that uh, box then we'll, then you can stop the movie. So you can also increase or decrease the size. So now let us come here, insert movie clip. So it is a shortcut here you can also do this by going to just insert option here and just last second as you can use that movies there so different movie clips are there so you can select movie from there also same options are there and you can select movie from file here so you can select file from your computer system here again the same option is there so same thing is there so and uh, one more thing so let us do it again that is our main heading Microsoft PowerPoint and if you want to insert a movie here then Click inside the box and you will be able to play the video. You can increase or decrease the size. So now I think you are able to insert the any move any clip regarding the video. Next is sound. Sound option you can also able to insert sound in the PowerPoint presentation. So select the position, select the location where from where you want to insert sound see the first option sound from file and last option is you can also record sound from here so just double click and click on that sound will be recorded in that and then stop so sound for a particular period of time will be recorded in that case now you are able to insert you can use that the symbol is there you can also increase or decrease in the same manner as in case of any video when you click on that sound will be there okay and in option there are different options of different there are different options related to that such that uh, you can see it first one is play so these are uh, here you can okay the option is when clicked so sound we can able to listen the sound only when the click option is there then we just click on that button on the sign second is maximum sound sound file size so you can here increase the file size of a sound here
same is applied in the form uh, different options related to sound insertion of sound and videos are uh, in found in option so different options are there related to sound and videos you can increase the size first one is you can see see that the play option is there so here you can also able to play the video or audio by selecting the item as uh, here I select the video so video will be played here if you select the audio file then audio file will be played in that case different options or you can easily see here then uh, hide during show play full screen these are the options available here you can select these options also and uh, loop until stop means uh, sound of video will be played uh, infinite time until and unless you are not uh, stop it so that is looped until stop you can increase the height and width from here also next is high during show these are the options different options send to back send to front you can send it to back or send it to front just clicking the, clicking on that options you can also make left alignment or right alignment just you can easy, easily see that I just make a left alignment so if you put this clips in a particular position you can also do it and you can align also them So now uh, movies and sound options are I think clear to all of you you are able to insert movie and sound and also apply different settings on movie and sound now our next option you can easily see that different objects so we are able to insert different object in our PowerPoint presentation also so you can insert any PDF file from a object any Excel PowerPoint itself so let us take a simple example first of all which gives a clear idea here I just insert a Excel object so Excel sheet should be there and uh, you can perform any task in it so if you want to do a work on a Excel in a PowerPoint presentation just insert it just go to the object and select MS Excel this is the Excel sheet here now you are able to do work on Excel sheet next uh, you can also insert a PPT inside a PPT PowerPoint presentation inside a PowerPoint pre presentation you can easily see that I just click here on PowerPoint presentation now you can easily see here so in this you can also able, now you can able to insert a PowerPoint presentation in a already existing PowerPoint presentation here so you can select any object and different objects are related to uh, different objects are there
okay now these are the different options you can select any one of them as per your requirement so different options are there and then go to another option just go to insert and then first of all make a new slide here and go to symbols you can also able to insert any type of symbol here just go uh, just click on the symbols and different types of symbols are here you can select any one of them and uh, you can easily see that recently used symbols are also there from where you can pick any recently used symbols by first of all just select the symbol and then click on insert button that symbol will be inserted into a powerpoint presentation after that now that is the symbol uh, here blood mark is there so i just remove that blood mark now that is a symbol you can insert any symbol especially symbols are used in basically for mathematical calculations so different symbols related to mathematics are also there you can select any one of them as uh, i just select here under under root sign here okay these are the different symbols you can see that roman urdu hindi english english are there different characters are there regarding to that i just select under root sign here it is recently used symbol so that is visible here already so we don't need to go for that in a searching for that symbol so all recently used symbols are there next is world art gallery so you can insert world art from here select any one of the theme here and you can write text here message is by default to your text here so first of all select this remove this and just write your text here this is the default formation of the text you can change the text by just perform right click operation on that and go to format shape different shapes are also there you can select any one of them these are the different options related to that you can change the color from here The different options are there you can select any one of them according to your need requirement need or requirement text fill text outlines outline styles shadow 3d format okay these are the different options available so you can select any one of them next is format text areas height width you can change from here related to text box 
left and right setting you can also apply from here okay just click on the close button now You can select any any theme of a text box here. Using format options. So now you can easily see here. Change the color. background color shape fill red is there so red color is there and uh, go to shape effect you can change the shape effect of also here you can easily see that okay shape outline outline shape shapes are there you can select any one of them and then test effect alignment is also there you can align left alignment right alignment of text here from here i just make a say center alignment from here you can also rotate you can easily see that go to this rotate option or and also vertical and vertical flip option is also there so you can also apply vertical flip So different options are there, inward art gallery and the formatting is done by using format option. You can change the box style of from here. Edit. Just go to the go to that add shape. So we, I just take a different shape from here. You can increase the size, or you are able to decrease the size of this shape also. Now you are able to see the. Just after the test, press enter. The size will be increased. then just just go to next uh, new slide and uh, let us talk about another option go to insert and then what that gallery is now i think complete text box is also completed you can select text box So first of all main box, delete the main box, here I just perform cut operation because uh, delete key is not working here, so you can select that box and press delete. Then header and footer, you can also insert header and footer into your powerpoint presentation. I just click on the header and footer, different options are there. You can insert date and time, slide number, okay, and you can write a 
note on a footer also by just clicking on the footer and write a comment or footnote from here footnote here and when you apply here and notes and handouts are also there so first of all let us talk about the slides if, if we just apply to all then this thing is applied to all the all this on all the slides can you see that date is there and slide number is also there so night footnotes and this is applied to all of the slides all of your slides i just write it ppt presentation this is a slide number so date is there you can select it from here and if you want to select fixed date then that is will not be changed at all so it will be fixed in that case so if so you can apply theme on a particular slide or head up you can apply head and foot on a particular slide and uh, there is another option apply to all on just clicking on that these are applied to each and every slides of a powerpoint presentation just click on that uh, you, are, you can see that format option will be open and from here you can also format your slide so these options are already covered now just go to date and time here you are also insert date as well as time in your ppt presentation you can also insert slide number from here you can easily see that you can select slide number from here and if you apply to all then this will apply to all of the slides so just now people presentation data and slide number is not there but because uh, we don't click on the slide number because slide number is not ticked here so you have to select the options from here only after that that option will be visible on a screen and there is another option you can apply the theme for all of his slides and only for particular slides so these are the options now two options are also remaining that is hyperlink so this will be discussed in our next video and there are many other options you can also select hyperlink from here So there are not only a single way to use these options, you can select other options also. So now I hope you are able to insert a movie, sound, word art, date and time, slide number in a PowerPoint presentation. So in the next video, we will talk about how to insert hyperlink or how to create a hyperlink and after that your all options regarding to insert will be completed and then after we will discuss design and animation in detail so thanks for watching this video